what is going on guys and welcome back to part two of the interior upgrade and so today we're gonna i mean i already got all these in all the little pieces i told you about i got the little cubby the knee bolster uh the um keypad outline um 3d printed um and the actual keypad so i'm gonna do a little unboxing to show y'all and we'll see what's up um yeah pretty much everything is brand new except for the cubby the cubby B is a little little used but no biggie so i mean everything's all in black now well just these two pieces actually but yeah um i also did get a dremel if y'all want to see what kind i got the dremel 200 200 um series yeah it's a series yeah um got it just to have it ready and to not fuck up on the on the keypad hole because i was gonna buy the the actual panel but it goes for like 180 bucks and i was like nah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna buy that i'll just buy the 20 something dollar um outline so yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this little outline first since i got it right here but yeah this is it guys this is the outline and it's a guy from all these parts are from ebay guys so yeah thanks to ebay so this goes something like that and it's it's perfect i mean it's pretty badass I'm, I'm gonna take it off first obviously and and do it right the first time but yeah that's how it goes guys <clears throat> this was around 20 something like i said ebay so there's that here is the this is the part number for the keypad if you want to see it I made in mexico a huevo parts let me get this camera on wide there you go perfect all right so this is the keypad guys not much to it i think i got it for like 50 bucks brand new as y'all can see there's more of the details does not want to focus but i showed you on the box um there's the the plug set this aside first things first we're gonna remove the the door panel so i'm not gonna try to get too detailed in this try to show you like the the main parts of it um I don't know if I remember right. Yeah, well, we have a bolt right there. Um, we have two bolts right here. We have a couple bolts, I think, right here. Yeah. I don't know if I can get that out right now. Yeah, a couple bolts right here. Where? Okay, guys. <clears throat> so there is two bolts here, two bolts under here. Um, I did. I took this little panel piece out with a little pick. Just so be careful on the very corner. Took it out. This there's like a little tab down here. Pry it off. Be careful because it comes at you. Um, one bolt here, two bolts down there, 
and that's pretty much it now we're going to just pull and disconnect any harnesses that are connected in the back of the, the door panel all right so now we're going to remove this weather strip we're going to remove this weather strip and it's going to it's going to allow you to to get to these bolts right here i don't know if y'all can see there you go that are seven millimeter seven millimeter sorry for that tongue twister and i believe it just pops out um uh, let me check all right guys so i did remove it already um it's a little sticky it's like it's uh sort of stuck from from the like the padding it has little gasket um you do have to loosen this bolt up it is a t20 i think yeah t20 and don't do what i did was just pry on this thinking that it was just gonna come off um i think you do have to remove it and i'm not even gonna mess with it now because i think i just broke it already you see it's a little i heard it just crack i don't know if you like to see yeah i'm not gonna mess with that <laughs> my mistake but you know we learn from it but yeah we got this out already out of the way ready to cut i'm not gonna cut it yet i'm gonna i'm gonna see what's up with the wiring harness just to make sure it's actually there and they just didn't forget to put it um let's see all right guys well uh i skipped ahead because i did run into problems but it's all figured out um um, let's see where did I leave off I think I left off removing the door panel the keypad panel so that is off and what I did well you know what before I say that um, there's a plastic piece right here I just took it off I took it off so it wouldn't be in the way because I just made, I made a hole and it was still in the way and inside Inside, there's some bolts for the door. Oh, right there. That one back there, right here, and right there. No, that that one's just a pin. These are two bolts, two 10 millimeter bolts. You want to get that one as well. In here covered with a little like uh, plug and this is the the factory plug for the keypad and this comes with the cap originally from factory it comes with this cap right here it literally just plugs in right there and that's how it was you take that off what I did is just take this little bracket off so I could have it at a more accessible distance and then um, I routed it I routed the keypad through the hole because there's one there's this hole and there's that hole I routed it through first all the way so I could get it through the through the, through the bottom and so I was like where am I gonna put the push pins so first I connected it right it's gonna be in back of this back of this little bar uh, first push pin is pretty obvious. It's gonna line up to that um, hole. Second pin. Shit. Yeah, I didn't want to move the door panel because I don't want to get messed up with these problems. But yeah, this is a door handle, and there's this little plastic piece. Y'all can see there's like a little tooth right there. That is for the harness to go through like that, to not be in the way. Yeah, it's for it to not be in the way. And like I said, it's just uh, these two bolts for the door panel from the inside, this little pin, which is this one right here. And be careful because it does come out and it could scratch your truck, so yeah.
Um, other than that, guys, I think we're pretty much done. Just make sure your connection is good. Uh, first, I'm going to check if it even clears it. If it even clears the window first. Um, yeah, so it won't get in the way. And cause more problems. But yeah, I'll get back with y'all soon. As I get everything back together. I think I said everything and mentioned everything that you need to do. Um, that's how it looks. Bracket, connection, first pin. And then the second pin is over there. I, I just pretty sure y'all. Um, I think we're gonna get to putting everything back together, um, cutting the panel, and programming it. Yeah, because we're gonna program it in Forcecam. There's a computer. Yeah. All right, guys. So next process is um, cutting the hole. We're gonna quickly set up our our Dremel. Put this shit over here. Um, shit, does this go? I'll suck if I got a hole in the top. Yeah, the wider side is always on the bottom. Okay, guys. So this supposedly just goes in like this. Supposed to somewhat. Let me put you on the tripod. Okay. So this is supposed to go like this somehow. See those little teeth? It's supposed to grab down there. should look all right guys I will be using a silver marker so it can show up perfectly and have a real nice outline I don't think this is perfect this um, tool unless it compensates for like the curve of it because it looks a little off I'll fix it up. No problem. All right, there you go, guys. Easy as that. Perfectly marked. And let's get to cutting. should be good um, only mistake I did was that since I put everything on I already knew that I was gonna be able to fit the fit this through here through a little hole and just can um, just put it back on like that right but it did not give me enough um, extension to put it in like that so that's why I told you to well first I told you to route it through here before doing all this panel stuff and I mean, it's it's your choice. You can um, maybe try to squeeze it in there, and having like this much of this much of play. Uh, alrighty, so there it is, guys. All lit up and everything. And I mean, all we need to do now is program it and put everything back together. Actually, first. 
I already put everything where it needs to be. Um, clipped all those um, clips, or whatever they're called, the push pins. And connect everything. Put the the door panel back on and, and let's get started to programming. This is what I use, guys. If y'all are wondering, V Peak made in China. This is the laptop. And yeah, I mean, this is from eBay. I usually get everything from eBay, you know, try to find the best deals and and yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this is the program, the programming part of this um, procedure. Here's um, Forescan. I think y'all already know what it is. If you don't, just go to Google Chrome, sign up for Forescan, and you need to, you have to get the extended um, the extended license. I think it's like, I think like last year it cost me around like 10 bucks i don't know this year maybe it went up or down but yeah it last one year of membership for uh extended license so yeah you want to go ahead and go to forescan um connect your usb port i mean connect your usb to the port uh which is going to be your you're gonna con connect this to your laptop. Um, connect it to your OBD2 port. There you go. Get your key. Turn it to the on position. Let me restart this so y'all can see. So there's four scan. um yes i am this is at your own risk i am not in any way forcing y'all and i am not um taking fault at whatever mistake or um shit you do on this um app so yeah this is this is some pretty pretty dip shit so just be careful guys and try to always save your your logs and let's get started so now that we have everything connected your obd2 um, interface uh, now now that it's connected we're gonna go ahead and go down here press connect to vehicle so you're gonna get this that's gonna say please make sure the following initial conditions are met and yes it's on the on position and hs you need to have it in the hs cam position um, there you go, the vehicle is not moving, so we're going to press OK. So right now it's going to read everything, and it's going to say yes, found uh, found recorded profile, so I'm going to go ahead and click yes. It's going to read all the modules, connections, there's your adapter, have MS switch, yes. Switch it to MS, so we're going to switch it back to MS gonna keep on reading everything and it's ready as it says right there it's ready um, so what you want to do now is go to this little um, chip right here go to module conf configuration as built format uh, run service procedure Please set um, switch to HS again Switch it back to HS um, click OK Changing configuration potentially not save. We know that click OK. It's gonna read all that And right here, this is the main stuff we're gonna be working on So what you want to go which, where you want to go what you want to do is go all the way down to where it says 726 you want to go all the way down to where it says 726 3701 
There you go. I think that looks much better. Yeah, it's because with white lens, it like sort of decreases the quality of the video. Um, yes. Uh, where were we? Seven twenty six thirty seven oh one, which is right here. Oh, my bad. Twenty six thirty seven oh one, which is right there, and it's gonna give you all these right here. And in these two rows, these two rows, I had all zeros. I don't know what you have. They're always going to be different, but I had all zeros. The only important thing you should know and what we will be changing is that second zero or that's that one that I changed will be a one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to try to put it as simple as possible. Um, the code is on the screen, as you can see. And the only thing, like I said, you're going to change is the second number on that row, which is going to be a one. For me, in my case, um, when I did that, it automatically added a um, different number to the second um, square. So, so yeah, that's how it works. I did put the X's on the screen because every truck is different so y'all probably y'all are probably gonna have different numbers so hopefully that works hopefully um y'all understood me and yeah just y'all just be careful with this save your save your data before doing the changes and if you're slightly confused or feel like it's not right you can always restore it back to how it was and and yeah guys so that's that's how it works Press right I'm not gonna do it because I already have it but you're gonna press right and it's gonna say um, incorrect um, chasm or chasm or something like that you're gonna put ok and it's gonna write and I think your truck um, lights are gonna like flicker somehow and that's it guys I mean there's not much to it um, it's going to take you back to this screen and it's going to take you back to this screen and that's it I mean there's no I tried disconnecting it doesn't let you disconnect so I just unplugged the the USB um, yeah I'm going to switch it off Disconnect the USB and get out of here. Okay, guys, to show y'all how it works, let me take out the key, lock it. Um, let me pause it real quick and then I'll just show the last number. And there you go. I don't know if y'all seen that. Or uh, you know what? I'm just gonna show y'all because and it locks. I'm just gonna show y'all and I'll just change the code. But um so seven seven one. There you go. You wanna lock it, two buttons. And that's pretty much it guys I mean it's pretty badass to me seven seven and there you go opens up everything's working properly that's how the uh, the cut came out pretty nice it's snug up on there. it's snug up in there it's not going anywhere it's straight and we just got to put everything back together guys um yeah i know this was pretty lengthy a pretty lengthy video but it is this process is time consuming guys yeah like i said guys um door panel yeah door panel 
Um, the bolt here, the two bolts from the from the door handle. Uh, take out the door handle. Fish the the harness through the. Well, you, you know what? You have to take out the panel first, and then fish it through there. Start connecting your clips. Take off the dummy clip that I have here. Connect it to your actual harness for it. And then put everything back together and check how it works. Well, I mean, obviously you have to program it, but yeah. But it's it's plug it's plug and play, guys. So I'm trying to put this damn plug back on. Yeah, and um, these two parts over here are gonna be part three of the of the install and of the interior and I just want I want to thank y'all guys for for being subscribed and liking the vids y'all let me know what what else y'all want um I'm gonna keep on messing around with the interior um still waiting on tires and yeah I mean I want to thank y'all for for the support and thanks for watching guys y'all like comment and subscribe uh -huh.